this is John with Four and a Half, and today we're talking about Google Apps with one of our clients, Daris of Real Property Management Humboldt. For those of you that don't know, Google Apps is an online suite of applications that can replace many of the functions of Microsoft Office, in fact, probably all of them. It has Google Drive, which is an online storage facility, so you can store up to five gigabytes worth of documents for free, and integrated with that is a number of applications, such as a word processor, uh, a presentation like PowerPoint, a uh, spreadsheet. Also, this all integrates with Gmail and a calendar feature, so it just all gets tied together and all gets stored on the net. There's also a lot of applications that tie into it and use the features all online. So here's Alex and Daris giving you an introduction to Google Apps. Hi, I'm here with Daris Trutna with Real Property Management Humble. Thank you, thank you. Sorry for the awkward pause. Daris, where'd you go? Um, Hey, so nice to talk to you, Darius. You know you yeah, are um, on top of the tech uh, as it comes to uh, uh, employing the technology with property management business, and uh, I'm really impressed with how quickly you get through stuff and, and, and what kind of uh, different technologies you use for your business, and today I want to talk to you about Gmail, Google mm -hmm. Apps, Drive, and all the other elements that come in play uh, when we are talking about uh, managing your communications. Yeah, within your company. Sure. Yeah, um, I'd be happy to share. I've, I've definitely been uh, very open to using new tools and experimenting and and seeing how they can improve operations. And the big thing for me and Alex, you talked about it, but it's being able to access your tasks, your documents, your basically your your business activities from anywhere. So I can access a lot of activities from my phone, from home if I need need to. My computer today broke. Randomly, the heat sink just fell off. Wow. It's really weird. So we fixed it, but the point is, is that even with any sort of problems like that, I can still access our activities. So first things, why, why do you use that? I mean, there, there, it was a kind of a longer answer, but perhaps you have a, like a, a, a condensed answer. Why do you use Google Apps? And why do you feel it's important for your business? So I use Google Apps because it's free. It's cloud-based. I don't ever have to worry about backups. And it makes collaboration incredibly easy. There's no better way to collaborate, in my opinion, than Google Docs. There are plenty of tools out there, but being able to access documents together, shared calendars, all these things being integrated, I haven't seen done anywhere else as well. This is Gmail right here, and I've just kind of closed the different tabs. But this is the Gmail interface, and I can access this email from my phone or any computer. Uh, in the world, and that's really nice. And up here is where you access the different aspects of Google Docs. So you have the main areas with the Gmail, the Google Drive, which is used to be called Google Documents, the shared calendar. We don't. We have a little bit of an intersite, internet site. We don't use it too much, but there's there's other aspects of it too. And nice things as well as shared contacts. So if I add a new contact, then it's uh, added to the entire group. Nice thing. And then of course there's much much more. Um, that, that you can add to it. There's apps for your Google app account just like there's apps on an iPhone. So you can expand with uh, MailChimp for newsletters. There's all sorts of different things you can add on here. And so if we update a, a method of doing something, we can change it in Google Docs just like editing a Microsoft Office document, but it's cloud-based. So it's instantly changed for everyone that's accessing it. So you don't have to email a new procedure out to the entire team, you just make it here and then everyone that sees it sees the changes in real time. And of course if you opened up a procedure, it's just going to look like a, it's just a, it looks like a Word document, but what's nice is that you can, you're, I'm actually in my web browser right now, so I don't need Microsoft Office, I don't need any sort of other tools except a web browser and I can edit these documents. So this is an example of a um, marketing a property and leasing it. And then for an example of a, like a worksheet that we do, we keep track of, we have dashboards we call them. So we'd have like a, like a leasing dashboard. Here's our, like our a new resident lease manager. And we're, we're still playing with exactly how to operate this, but this is just an example spreadsheet where we have the property, we'd have 
um, what the status is of the move out. Is it is it have a does it have a sign on it? Who's our top prospect right now? Here's a a link to a a checklist. So we actually process our applications online. So I don't want to go into this too detailed, but this is just an example of how our leasing agent can process applications using Google Docs. And of and course, way, you see all the updates, who edited it, yeah. when, and you can track exactly. that. Exactly. And, that, and that's what's so nice about it is that you've got real-time editing and you've got, um, uh, what's it called, revision history. So you can actually see who did what. If you wanted to, un if you wanted to undo something, you could, you could do that. Now, a lot of people are familiar with Microsoft Office. Um, we do both. We use both Microsoft Office and Google Docs for certain things. But in, in, a, in a world of property management, you are the expert. Tell me, do you use Microsoft Office for specific things versus Google Docs? And what's better for what? Yeah, so I would say that for operational tasks, coordination with your team, Google Docs is far none the best way to go. If you're trying to work together on any sort of activity, then from, from maintenance to leasing, um, we even keep track of, of eviction statuses with Google Docs, so that way when the, the company that we use for evictions gives anyone an update, it goes on that Google Docs spreadsheet, and then it's really easy to keep track of the status for everything. Because, you know, you, there's some property management tools have it built in, but it's not quite the way you want it. And so with Google Docs, you can customize it exactly to show what information you want, what time this notice was given, and then the stages that you're going through for evictions or delinquencies. So that kind of collaboration, Google Docs dominates. I mean, that's no way that you can compare. But Microsoft Office is still good when, you know, we're doing like a three-day notice and we have it set up with the autofill uh, boxes. So things like that or security deposit settlement statements. Google Docs does not have as feature-rich of an environment to create autofill zones like you would for a security deposit st statement, statement or three-day notice. So anytime you're doing any sort of form, Google, uh, Microsoft Office still has value right now, at least. So would, uh, sorry, Dallas, would it be fair to, uh, I guess, say that uh, for any customer facing, uh, you know, documents, brochures, stuff, you would still yeah. prefer Microsoft Office, but for anything internal, and it has to do with collaboration, any internal documentation, Google, Google is plenty. Exactly. If you need something to present as Microsoft Office, it's still gold. But if you're working internally, Google Docs is so much better because you need that constant communication. How does Gmail help you manage the uh, email flow? Because I notice property managers get you know an email a second. Um, so I'm wondering, between Gmail and Contacts, how does it help you? I don't know if you ever used Outlook, but maybe you can kind of contrast and compare. For us, Gmail is superior because we can access it anywhere. It's got some of the best spam filtering that I've read is that anybody has. So it's really effective at spam filtering. And then the next level is that Gmail is linked with a lot of the apps that we use with Google Apps. So right from Gmail with that tool called Do, if I have an email that I want to turn into a task, I can just hit a button in Gmail and then I'll turn it into a task and I can assign it to a specific person, a specific property, right from my email and then just archive it and it's done. I don't need to fill up my my inbox with tasks because I hand it over to proper task management software that's integrated with Gmail. The search is incredible. I mean, it's, I, occasionally when I do use it because it's got so much functionality for looking for attachments and who sent it when, where, and it's incredibly fast when you're pulling up a list. I just... To me, I've never used Outlook, so I don't know how they, how they compare. <laughs> well, uh, literally, I remember if you're looking for 1245 Madrona Street and it's somewhere within a thousands of email you have, all you have to enter is 1245 in a search box and we'll pull up all the emails that has to do with 1245 address. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's how, yeah. That, I mean, that's pretty groundbreaking uh, compared to what you can get out of Outlook when that search bar keeps uh, going uh, like yeah. that. <laughs> thinking, thinking. Um, all right. Perhaps you can share a bit of wisdom with people who are just starting out with Google Apps. So imagine you didn't have it, you didn't know anything about it, you had another email system, and now you have to start with Google Apps. Well, what are some of the wisdom you would share with people? Well, I'd, I'd recommend 
just go into Google Apps, just Googling Google Apps, and they have really nice introductory videos that explain all that is involved, all that you're getting with it. And as, if you have less than 10 users, for free. So I would say that just take a couple minutes. I know that it can seem daunting to go into a new tech or new, right. new set of softwares, but I think that once people get into it a little bit, they're going to see that it's so much easier to use. That it's going to, they're going to get that time back very quickly. That little upfront investment will be paid off pretty quickly once you realize that you're, you're free from clunky old software. It's, it's updated all the time. They're constantly improving it. And it's getting more and more integrated, more and more smooth. Uh, as Google Plus gets more integrated with and lo more popular, it's automatically set up for that. So you have your social aspects that are, are tying in with it. So I'd say you know this is a great time to start looking into it, start expanding, and start learning about cloud-based tools. And for property management, Google Docs is fantastic. From the Gmail to the shared calendar and the Google Drive, just give that a couple minutes to check it out. And honestly, I you know I I'm always happy to help people learn new stuff. So you can toss me an email sometime. I'd be happy to walk people through. That's very generous offer, Dennis. Thank you for taking all this time to talk to us today. Hopefully, it'll, it'll help a bunch of people make that transition. And we've been advocating Google Apps for a long time. I think the fact that it's free is scaring people off. You know what I mean? So if, uh -huh. if you said, oh, it's 300 a month, you'd be like, oh, I got to think about that. Yeah. But now it's free, so people are scared off. So take it from Darius, try it out. Look at the tutorial. We'll link it out in, on the blog. And uh, Darius, again, thank you so, kind, so much for your time. Yeah, good to see you, Alex. All right, talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.